Today we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things we're not doing. For example, when we first started out, we were using Gmail to track all of our customers and all of our contacts. Turns out, it wasn't a great idea. And once we got the Square point of sale software set up, we realized the customer database really naturally belongs there. For the first three editions of the newsletter, I used Apple's Pages software to create the layout and then converted it to a PDF, attaching it to the email distribution list from Gmail. I got quite a lot of feedback that the PDF attachment was hard to open and people receiving the email didn't even notice it was there. The Square marketing software was remarkably easy to recreate the newsletters using the same colors and fonts. And the statistics that are provided are really quite brilliant. A writer I found um, getting her MBA at Duke um, that sort of specialized in Hawaiian um, sensitivity reading. So I tried hiring her to write some blogs because mm -hmm. remember we've talked about doing the blog, the text, and then embedding these YouTube videos in them so that we have like context. Because I think we're going to have more than one YouTube video per topic. We can kind of keep putting them into the blog and keep updating the text until the blogs become kind of topical, whereas the YouTube video is just a stream of consciousness, right? It's just okay. a, like a mini series. So sensitivity reading is uh, it's something uh, I know about because uh, my college roommate used to do some of it. You have just sort of a, a perspective and you read your corporate, whatever it is, materials, grant, whatever your proposal is with that thing in mind, whether it's, you know, for, um, in, in this case, it would be for the Hawaiian population, for the native people um, who really have that as a perspective, right? Um, not that I'm getting it wrong, but it's just nice to have somebody that's sort of like laser focused on that, read it with that in mind, right? Yeah. And really kind of go through it line by line and make sure that nothing just feels wrong or, or feels disrespectful or feels off, mm -hmm. right, as you're reading the post. So somebody finally mentioned that my YouTube channel has a typo. Oh. The, the, the email address that I created is, does not spell the word museum correctly. And <laughs> I just figured this out. Oh, no. So I had to create a whole separate YouTube account. And I'm trying to merge them. I'm trying to shift all the content over to the correctly spelled oh, no. URL. But <laughs> it's really hard to do that. It's very hard to do, and there's like a seven day waiting period or something, so I can't even do it till next week. Yeah. So now I'm sort of sitting here this week going, okay, I have two more videos that are like in the can ready to go. Do I just put them on the old thing and just pretend I and just then worry wait. about it next week, or do I wait mm -hmm. yeah, and can, prepare can, to can the you... inevitable, blow it all away and create the whole thing from scratch? There's only 16 subscribers, but there's a lot of people that have some of those URLs out there and to lose all of it really would be heartbreaking. And oh my goodness, Google, like they've definitely got themselves into that corner of, well, we created this thing called brand accounts, but do you have a brand account or is it a not brand account? And I'm like, I don't know. Okay, well click here to find out if it's a brand account. Okay, well everything on that is out of date and no longer applies. So do I have a brand account or not? I can't even answer the basic question. Well. When you go into settings, does it look like this or does it look like this? And I'm like, oh my god, Google, Google is killing me. <laughs> so it's just not easy to move your YouTube channel from here to there. Uh -huh. Now, how much do people even notice that there's an email associated with the YouTube channel? Not much. Um, and I, I don't get emails from that email address. So yeah. That well, was now two I feel days bad that I didn't notice it. <laughs> well, how, how do you look at the email address associated yeah, with the YouTube channel? Uh, True. Mahalo. Aloha. Shock.